All right, welcome back. Finished up the wings. Um, ran a couple little things that slowed me down um, on the hatches, but they're all done. I ran out of some screws and things like that, but because uh, I didn't use the screws that they that they gave, uh, they're a little big. <clears throat> so I used some different things, but the problem I ran into uh, these were. They stuck way up high, like they were way up higher than the actual back one. And these were, you know, these fit perfect, you know, look at that. They're, just, they're nice and level almost, you know, and even these are still, you can kind of see how that one's up higher. And this one has a gap when it's in its neutral position, but that's no big deal. But this one was way up too and way off and um, they were just shaped wrong. So I had to heat them up and... Um, Heating them up a little bit helped. Actually, I need to probably need to take this one back off and reheat a little bit. And there's like a little lump here, and then it kind of sags a little bit. So I probably need to kind of push heat in this area, and then kind of push a little bit. Yeah, and then I had like a little little lump here. So, but I was able to heat them up and reshape them, and I actually had to spread them out more uh, to get them to lay flatter. Or more flat and then I had to trim on one side because when I spread them out it would overlap the, the actual lip here uh, so I had to trim and redrill some holes and that just took a little bit but they're done uh, off all the each wing has uh, you know essentially let's see one two and so five five total hatches you have to screw on yeah, this one this one went together a little bit better, uh, but it's done. So on to the uh, the tail section now. Uh, I did uh, I went ahead and removed the uh, airlines from these. I took this, the bolts out because that one kind of had some friction on it, uh, and it was just because they clamped it down so so much. So I took it out and actually put a washer back here on the back of the nut and made sure these were all nice and tight and got the, uh, the little pieces of airline off that I needed to, uh, to and just made sure that they were good there while I had it, uh, had it to that point. So yeah, wings are done and on to the rear end. Um, this one's not the rear's not too bad as far as putting in servos. The only ones that was kind of a kind of suck are the rudders, just because they glue in mounts and they're nowhere near the angles that you need to be for the direct drives on the rudders. And you're, it's like you're having to adjust like not only the tilt this way, but you also have to tilt this way. And then it, sometimes it's kind of like off angle, so you'll like have like one corner of the servo you have to put like an extra extra washer or two in there to kind of get it to, to work right and it's just trial and error. Not hard, it just takes a minute. And then um, uh, once the servos are in I'll probably go ahead and uh, mount the, the turbines. Um, hopefully, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if I still have the actual the rails too, but I kept the wood mounts that I made for my turbines. So there's, those are the bottom, these are the top, and then these will go in a, in, in a channel on the bottom, and then these lay against a, a bulkhead at the top where it's got like a you know flat like a piece of ply, and then you attach here at the top. So and these kind of fit right in a in a, in a groove; they can't go forward and aft. So and then once that is done, the the, the rear is done. I will hop to the tanks because that'll be kind of the next thing is uh, getting those plumbed and done and then at that point it's kind of like starting to put everything in like run an airline so I'm gonna leave the tanks uh, out until everything is ran where I need it and then I'll put the tanks in last because once that that top tank kind of goes in you really can't get into that that nose section which is why I kind of wanted to to put a different tank in there um, and this time I may make it where it's easy to be, you know, easier to remove. It was easy, to, well, it wasn't easy, but you could remove it, 
but it wasn't as easy as I'm going to try to make it this time. Um, so, but uh, that's it for this evening. I think I'm going to call it a day. Uh, and um, yeah, I think I'm going to call it a day. It was, uh, didn't get a lot done, but I got, like I said, I got the wings done. I do a little bit each day. Back gets a little tender after a while, so that's about all I can handle. A few hours each day right now. Well, all the time my back just don't can't hold up anymore. Which is why I got these adjustable tables, man. It actually helps. Uh, I'm I'm I gotta get in a better habit about doing it, but you know if I just bring the bring them up higher, it's perfect to work on. I don't have to bend over and it and, and it doesn't start bothering my back as bad. So I can actually work a little longer before I have to call it. So. Um, the only thing I, I want to do is I want to, because these come off, and it looks like it's you know it's like a almost like a hex. So I want to come up with something I can, you know, stick my uh, cordless drill in and just go and just run it up and down. That way it's quicker and not as not as cumbersome. So, but yeah, first world problems, right? All right. So you guys have a good one, and like I said, tomorrow I'll get hot and heavy on that. Cheers.